All three of them. Yay! Yay! Shout so, out to Tessa. So Learning. what you guys are all hearing now is that so we have a WSCR trainee. Yay! That's right now. And we just basically showed her how to transition from a commercial break into an actual live Yay! break. Yay! And she got it done. <laughs> yes. And she did it. Shout out she to Tessa. Well. Tessa. But heard, back to the show. She, um, wait, let's give a shout out to her show, which is hopefully happening this week. Tessa, Tuesday. do you... Nope, not today, but talk, <laughs> speak, tell us about... Tessa, do you have a time slot? Yeah, Tessa. Okay. Talk. Have... Get to the mic. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have 6 o'clock on Tuesdays right now, and I'm not sure more. not sure about a co-host, but I'll probably be doing something with entertainment news and, like, yeah. Twitter and what's trending on Twitter and yeah. music. Yay, yeah. that sounds really Yay. interesting. Yay. So, guys, Yay. tune in Tuesdays at 6 p.m. right here only on WICR. WICR. We'll promote it via WICR. social media. WICR. <laughs> <laughs> okay back on track this is our last closing up our segment our crazy <coughs> little show today mm-hmm. we're doing a buzzfeed quiz <laughs> yes um so here buzzfeed guys first of all what grade are we all in right now what, what are we doing right now what grade are we, we're, we're in 16th grade this is 16th oh my is god so <laughs> we're we're seniors in college right but yep. BuzzFeed wants to quiz us all on our actual grade level. And they said that they can do it all in 10 simple questions, guys. Oh, bring it. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Are you ready? Tell, all the, right, so, tell the questions. All righty. So as I'm asking you the questions, please make sure you guys answer it on your laptops. All right. So question number one. <laughs> what does pulled out all the stops mean? And you have here um, um, option A, remove stop signs from a neighborhood, as in a prank. <laughs> B, change one mind, change one's mind repeatedly. C, worked hard to make something great, or D, held a party? Everyone answered. Answers are locked in. Is um, that your final answer? I feel like I'm on who wants to be a millionaire. Answers locked in. Next. Yes. Locked in. All right, two. So, if Lexi, if Lexi <laughs> took it up a notch, what did she do? Did she A, make her belt tighter, <laughs> B, <laughs> broke her leg, <laughs> C, gained weight, or D, work harder? Hmm. Answers, answers, lock them in. Final answers. All right. Oh, guys, please tell me your answers, please. Chelsea. Worked harder. Worked harder. All right. What about you, Robbie Ayala? Um, I'm saying working harder, too. <laughs> so make sure. You an answer. Well, which one would you do? Work, work harder. harder. Yes. All right. So, guys, you're going to lock your answers in first and then tell me. All right. Okay. So, three. Zandra says that Raphael is a diamond in the rough. These names, buzz- BuzzFeed. I know. Right? <laughs> what does Zandra mean? So is Raphael smart but doesn't act like it? Is Raphael cruel to others? Raphael is better than he appears, or does Raphael think he's better than others? Okay, I picked Raphael is better than he appears. Mm-hmm. So did I. I think so too. You guys, this is why we're co-hosts together. We're all on the same page, ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, except for when it comes to the Jenners. <laughs> I, I'm, I agree. I agree. But number four. Jordan is speaking to someone off the record. Ooh, journalism mm-hmm. question. Here we go. Media law and ethics. Would you expect to hear what he says on the news? Um, no, because he's whispering to a friend. No, because he, does, he doesn't want journalists to print out what he says. Yes, because he's eager for everyone to find out. Or yes, because he put it on the internet. Okay, if we don't pick this answer, <laughs> or Professor go Barn, to Michael Demerges, <laughs> um, Jack Breslin, 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 Breslin. <laughs> every single MassCon professor in this apartment would attack this show. So everyone, I hope you put, pick. I have everybody put B. <laughs> yes, B. No, because he doesn't Booyah. want journalists to print what he says. Booyah. All right. Five. Yes, you'll learn that too. Every single one of these professors will say, off the record. Off the record, right. So, Brandon is caught with his pants down. <laughs> what does that mean? He got caught doing something embarrassing. He got caught doing something illegal. He got caught in a trap. Or someone knocked on the door while he was using the restroom. Obviously, it's that one. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to go with... C. Uh, you think he got caught in a trap? Oh, mm-hmm. no. It's, it was the first one. No, listen. You answer whatever you think. I, I picked it. I think it's he wrong. got caught doing something embarrassing. Yeah, you got that right. I, I didn't. Hey, all right. Okay, we're on the page, for, same page for one question. Ooh. All right. Six. Diana tells Gus, don't forget to smell the roses. Why? Um, a. She wants Gus to choose a career. B. She wants Gus to enjoy the beauty in life. C. She wants Gus to buy her flowers. Or D. She is disagreeing with Gus in a nice way. I want, I would say B. She wants Gus to enjoy the beauty in life. And I'm going to agree with you. As well as I. 
Oh, I like this next answer. There's a horse in it. <laughs> you like horses? Yes, I want to be a horse, clearly. You mm. want to be a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna horse says to her from? friends, hold your horses. Why? She, um, a, she wants them to learn to ride horses. B, she wants them to get their work done first. C, she wants them to listen to her sing. Or D, she wants them to slow down and be patient. Hold your horses and pump your brakes. I think it's she wants them to slow down and be patient. Something I am very incapable of doing. That is true. Well, we learn something agree. new every day, and I agree. <laughs> Number <laughs> numero ocho. Ocho, ocho, ocho. Ocho, because I have Italian test today. Oh, that's ocho. true. Look at you. I heard you. I heard you were studying yesterday, and that's why you couldn't go out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Next. Go with that. Dominic gets in your face. How do you feel? Are you relieved? Are you pleased? Are you upset? Or are you bored? I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would be upset if you guys don't agree with me on that one. Um, well, if, if it's Dominic, I think I'm going to be upset. Aww. Yeah, we don't like Dominic. <laughs> we don't like Dominic. Okay. All right. Number nine. <clears throat> Number nine. Which idiom yeah. means nope. that something looks easy to do, but the small parts make it complicated? Everybody understand that? Should I repeat it? What idioms mean the same? Though? Which I which idiom means that something looks easy to do, but the small parts make it complicated? So, the devil's in the details. The in the off the top. It's raining cats and dogs, or put the metal, put the pedal to the metal. I'll say, devil's yeah, the, the devil's in the details. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah, we were right. Yay. Last question, and then we got to wrap this show. Yes. Oop. Number 10. If your hometown planned and set a world record, you might say blank. The world record got in your face. The world record put your town on the map. Your town got dropped, or your town tied the knot. The world record put your town on the map. I think so too, Mary. What do you say? Yay! And our answer is, hey, I got ten out of ten. What'd you get? Ten out of ten. I graduated apparently. You should be here. I graduated school. What'd you get, (laughs) Telsey? I got nine out of ten. You already graduated from school, and I think we're gonna graduate from the show right now because we gotta wrap this up. What a show, guys! Wow, it's been real. It's been real, Tessa. I'm so excited to listen in on Tessa's show on hopefully on Mon Tuesday. So remember, six p.m. guys. Six p.m. on Tuesday. Well, we all have shows on Thursday. We're going to do another morning show on Thursday. Robbie has a show on Thursday. I have another show. No, I have. I actually have my show today at, 2 p- um, at 3 p.m. Yes, the Midday Mess. Please Midday mess. tune in. Tune in. The and then on Thursday, I think we'll have an interview with a Venezuelan musician, Miguel Agnero. So it's going to be a great week. Great week for WSCR. Good day to be, Gail. See you guys next week. Oh, no, I lied. Thursday. Bye. WICR presents This Moment in History.